driver was replaced with another. Dude, I get a big truck so I can take up four spots. <laughs> Can't believe that. I know, it's so tall. I'm not doing it. Go. Caleb, I'm gonna, what if they come out? I know. We got two of them today. <laughs> in the same spot. In the, yeah, in the exact same spot. First the Honda, then a big ass truck. What? <laughs> oh wow, I'm dizzy. So today we're doing some pretty fun stuff called a rust repair. No, actually no, it's not fun at all. The Rally Miata has quite a bit of rust, and I honestly didn't care because I didn't buy the car to be a nice pretty show car. However, since we are getting it color changed soon, I figured um, now's the time to fix all the rust. I'm not too worried about how the paint will look, but I want the body lines to be smooth. I don't want there to be cracks and holes and chips and all stuff over my paint. I just want to get a nice, good, base so when we go and um, change the color of the car then everything will look smooth it'll all look good no weird cracks or anything and of that sort we are also going to be taking the plastic dip off the hard top and maybe primering it maybe not as you guys know i'm not very good at body work but i'm gonna take my time i'm gonna try to do this right so hopefully everything turns out good. I have listened to comments. You guys have been bugging me to get some safety equipment for a while and I don't really know why I didn't do this sooner. I don't really want to die an early death because of lung cancer or going blind or something. It might not seem like a big deal to a lot of you guys and it didn't seem like a big deal to me but look at Brendan from Haggard Garage. He got something in his eyes and like three years later he's still getting surgery so I don't want to be him. Uh, no, no thanks. So we're throwing away the aviator. We got some Stanley safety glasses, some Stanley earmuffs because whenever I use the angle grinders, my ears were always ringing. Not good. Some leather work gloves. I don't really know how good these are, but they're the beefiest, but most agile ones I could find. And a little respirator. So I went from looking like this to looking like this. Not the most comfortable attire and the glasses are already fogging up, but this is really cool. I don't know if I'm loud because I can't hear anything. Like. This is pretty sweet. I feel very safe in these. Very. Like, I'm, I'm, li I'm liking this. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can hear. Oh, my goodness. So, yeah, that should prevent my um, early death. Anyway, let's get started. We got to pull Molly out of the garage, bring the Rally Me Out in the garage, kind of clear the workspace, and get to sanding. Ugh. <laughs> God damn, do I love these things. While I was cleaning the garage, I found two fresh drips of oil. So I'm gonna check to see how the front of the engine is looking on here. Cause I swear if this is still leaking, I'm a KMS. Hmm. I can't honestly tell if the front main steel is leaking just from looking here, so. The one way I can tell is to drive it and then put a piece of paper right under the front of the engine, see if the paper gets oil on it. I don't think it's leaking just because those spots are farther back than they normally are, so front main seal, front of the engine, not the front main seal, but maybe the rear main seal is going bad too, I don't know. Anyway, let's get to work. I'm gonna start off by taking the trunk spare off. <laughs> We're gonna have to sand this down too, look at that. 
Yep. Speaking of which, let me show you all the rust on the car. Yeah, right there. Oh, right there. Right there. That's, that's a nice big chunk of just dead everything. Right, right there. Looks like up here is pretty good. We got a little bit of rust starting over here. Yep, yep. Coming over this side, we've got this nice little um, bubbling right here. And some good old rust going along the fender. So we'll do the same thing on this side. Sand it down, paint it. A little bit of bubbling there, rust there. Nice rust there, and all along there. Oh, uh, we'll come back to here, not too fresh. In fact, this is all Bondo anyway. We'll get that, and then major spot is up there. I think let's start by trying to get the plastic dip off of this hard top, which is gonna be an endeavor. Doesn't look like it's gonna peel off um, I kind of expected that, so looks like we're gonna have to sand it all off, which is gonna take a long time and be a pain, but gotta do what we gotta do, I guess. So I got all the plastic dip off that's just down to the fiberglass. However, you can see that whoever painted this thing last just totally fucked up. Like, you see all the scuff marks, all that. That big gouge right there. Big gouge is right there. Not very good, so I'm gonna keep going at it with a sander. Stuff it up to some higher grit just to smooth it out and get a nice, real, smooth, even finish for when we paint, and then we have to dust it all because, well, it's covered in plastic dip dust. Just finished sanding the hard top um, all the way down to 400 grit. And I, and I really want to paint it right now, but blah, we can't because we got a lot more sanding to do. And if I painted it and then started sanding, all the dust would get onto the paint. Not smart, not smart idea. Anyway, let's go ahead and um, move on to sanding the rust away. Bye bye rust. Don't come back. You probably will. are looking pretty good. This fender is all sanded down, ready for a little bit of bondo here and then just paint everywhere else. We still have to ah, sand the front a little bit, I guess, might as well. Sand the fender a little bit, especially up there. The rocker looks good up until it's back here. We have to do a lot of sanding here. We'll do a little bit of bondo right there as well. Um, looks like there's a little bubble here or something. Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of stuff right here. And then also that right there, that right there, and then this right here on the trunk. Both the rockers on this side are good, the front fender is good. Got this part and decided to sand the entire trunk, just because I'm, I'm gonna repaint the entire trunk. Obviously we've got some bondo over here. Pretty much what I need to do is a little bit of bondo right here. Then we have to bondo this side, both the front and the rear, and then we can uh, get to sanding all the bondo, and then we can get to painting. I'm actually really glad I bought this mask because I hate the smell of bondo, and when I'm wearing it, I can't smell shit. Oh yeah. <laughs>
so the car is finally ready for paint. I finished up sanding all the Bondo. It's nice and baby smooth. Like, compared to my last Bondo job, this is heavenly. Especially this rear fender here, looking so much better. Um, we also taped up the hard top, which was a pain and a half, but I realized after I taped it all up that I probably should have taken it off and painted it off the car, but oh, oh well. So everything is painted up. It's all looking pretty good. It's still pretty wet and it definitely needs like a, the, the car needs a good wash because there's still dust everywhere. So and we'll let it dry for tonight and then tomorrow we'll take it out, um, wash it, then buff the paint because we got some overspray some places. So here's the car, all finished. Hard top looking eh, decent. Trunk, which I repainted looking eh, decent. Body lines down here are now so much better. The fender doesn't have a big crack in it. There's not rust everywhere. Everything is nice and smooth. Up here on this fender, much better too, I think. The actual paint on the hard top and the paint on everywhere doesn't look the greatest, but the point was not to get a good looking paint. The point was just to fix all the rust so the body looks smooth and just give a nice even finish for the plastic dip to bond to the car without any issues. That's right, we are plasti dipping it, except we're not doing a shitty plasti dip, we're actually taking it to a shop, getting it professionally done. I'll go into more detail as to why we chose to uh, plasti dip it in a different video, but um, yeah. I'm pretty pumped, Sunday is the day when it's happening, so tomorrow, I'm not going to tell you exactly what color yet, but let me just say that we are embracing the frog, and it's gonna look awesome. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a like. If you're new, please consider subscribing, um, and I'll see you guys next time, so peace out and uh, that's it, bye.